What was once Hurricane Ada now heading for Florida. So let's get right to Lee Spann with the very latest on the track. Yeah, it's been on land in Central America now for about 48 hours. So it is weakening, but it's still bringing a lot of rain and mudslides, unfortunately, to Nicaragua and to, uh, and to Honduras. Here's the thing, though. The latest forecast that just came in about an hour and a half ago, it's going to stay on land for less time. But it's going to kind of make this due north so it gets into the Caribbean and allows it to start strengthening even earlier. So this is the forecast through Saturday afternoon. At that point, it's back to a tropical storm. It's just south of Cuba. Then it's going to head to the north, maybe getting near Bahamas or the Straits of Florida, and make it actually kind of a turn to the west. This is where things become very uncertain. But, well, obviously, the southern portion of Florida may feel some effects from this. It's never a strong system, 60 mile per hour winds, but it certainly bears watching because we know this forecast is going to change until we can get this system back into the Caribbean and starting to develop.